acute laryngitis and chronic laryngitis. Acute laryngitis. What is acute laryngitis? Acute laryngitis is usually is a short-lived illness that produces a sore throat and hoarseness. Often it's caused by an upper respiratory tract infection. It typically lasts for around three to seven days. It might have infectious causes or non-infectious causes like straining the vocal cords by overusing your voice or gastrointestinal reflux disease could cause it, which is known as reflux laryngitis. The infectious form of acute laryngitis is most common and often follows an upper respiratory tract infection to start with. It's usually viral, but bacterial agents occur later. Viral agents might include parainfluenza virus, rhinovirus, coronavirus, respiratory, syncytial virus, influenza virus, adenovirus. HIV, Coxsackie uh, virus might be possible causes among immunocompromised people. The most commonly encountered bacterial organisms are Morizella caterhalis, H. influenza, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Exanthematous fever such as chickenpox, measles, and whooping cough are also linked with acute laryngitis. Fungal infection related laryngitis is also common but often says undiagnosed. This typically occurs secondary to recent antibiotic or inhaled corticosteroids use. Strains that cause fungal laryngitis are Cryptococcus, Blastomyces, Histoplasma, Cocci diodes, Canada. An infectious form of acute laryngitis is due to things like allergy, vocal trauma, use of asthma inhalers, VERD, environmental pollution, chemical or thermal burns of your larynx, smoking. Symptoms of acute laryngitis. Acute laryngitis often causes symptoms like sore throat, hoarseness of the voice, a cough, fever, and need to frequently clear your throat. Symptoms often come on suddenly and become worse after a few days. After around a few weeks with adequate treatment that includes resting your larynx and drinking plenty of water, symptoms like hoarse voice and cough typically relieve. While acute laryngitis typically relieves without treatment, but some conditions require attention. They are coughing up blood, experiencing swelling problems, having a persistent fear of over 1 or 3 F, having trouble breathing, having respiratory problems. These symptoms could indicate epiglottitis. This condition where the tissue covering the lid of your windpipe became inflamed. It could be life-threatening. Diagnosis of acute laryngitis. Doctors often diagnose acute laryngitis by examining the throat. They will try and identify the cause of your acute laryngitis since this will determine the with the proper course of treatment should be if needed. If your laryngitis is caused by an unknown underlying disorder like GERD, the treatment plan for this could be adjusted to avoid further laryngeal complications. How is laryngitis diagnosed? Laryngitis is diagnosed by the examination of larynx. The laryngeal examination may include a mirror examination or specialized magnified view of voice box, digital laryngoscopy or laryngeal stroboscopy. The following are illustrated using laryngoscopy. Area with inflammation clues to possible causes of laryngitis. Other voice box lesions or problems already present in addition to laryngitis. Treatment of acute laryngitis. The best treatment for acute laryngitis include Plenty of rest, staying hydrated externally and internally, and antibiotics if required. It might benefit you to take cough supplement since if you are also experiencing coughing, since prolonged coughing could cause long term damage to your vocal cord tissues. What is chronic laryngitis? Chronic laryngitis is persistent, it produces voice changes and lingering hoarseness. It typically painless and doesn't have any significant sign of infection. It also takes longer to develop. It persists more than three weeks. It could be caused by things like cigarette smoking, irritation from asthma inhales, polluted air, GERD, and vocal misuse. Symptoms of chronic laryngitis. Vocal hoarseness is the primary symptom of the chronic laryngitis. This results from vocal cord inflammation. When your vocal cords become inflamed, it can distort the sounds you make while talking when air passes over them, leading to hoarse of your voice. Common chronic laryngitis symptoms include throat throat, voice hoarseness, swelling problems, coughing. Treatment of chronic laryngitis. There are various treatments for chronic laryngitis. Treatment will depend on what the underlying cause is. For instance, if it's being caused by GERD, the fatty and spicy food must be avoided and prescribed GERD medication. For bacterial infection, the antibiotics should be given. Laryngitis prevention. You can help prevent laryngitis with some general healthy practices like avoiding contact with individuals with a cold or the flu and washing your hands. If you use your voice excessively for a living, you should take frequent breaks. Consult with your doctor to learn about ways of reducing the potential voice box inflammation. If you smoke, quit immediately to lower your inflammation risk. Avoid working in areas that expose you to harsh chemicals consistently. 
fire stomach acid reflux treated properly and avoid excessive alcohol intake these are some things to try to prevent laryngitis thank you